Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It was so exciting. I had the opportunity to be behind the scenes as the Marines raided Adeloupe as part of a realistic urban training exercise. It was a scene out of a movie as 80 Marines stormed the center of government in the island's capital. KUAM was there behind the scenes. At least three helicopters are circling the governor's complex right now as members of the 31st Marine Expeditionary Unit infiltrate the building and attempt to find the bad guys that are hiding inside. The Marines were operating under a simulated situation. An Islamic terrorist cell had infiltrated the island, and local authorities requested for help to remove the threat. Helicopters circled as Marines fast drove down the building and cleared rooms inside. Gunshots could be heard. Although no live fire was used, training ammunition known as SESMs were used instead. While non-lethal, the impact simulates the feeling of getting shot. I would not say it's dangerous, but it's always high risk. When you're using helicopters and vehicles and then you're moving around quickly, there's always an element of risk involved, uh, but we train for that. That's what, you know, so we can mitigate risk down to a manageable level. It's extremely important because it allows our Marines to operate in an unfamiliar urban environment uh, under high stress uh, situations and they get to practice their close quarters combat, which is about urban war fighting and this allows them to get as close to combat, as close to realism as they can. Commanding Officer Colonel Ty Wallace said the 31st MU is the only forward deployed MU in the Marine Corps and can respond quickly to crises, hostilities or humanitarian situations in the Asia Pacific. So to be able to operate effectively in an urban environment is critical because almost all the littorals, uh, the coastlines that we work around, it's built up uh, you know, that's where most of the population is at. So quite frankly, quite frankly, if we get called to do a real mission, more than likely it will be in an urban setting. During Rutex training, military officials were able to work with local agencies, including the Guam Police Department and the Guam Office of Homeland Security. The operation ended just before 10 p.m. Thursday. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.